Well, hello there! It's that time again! Time for the blog that truly blazes! Here on this beautiful day of March the 30th of 2012. And as usual, I'm going to go over the three card reading. We'll cover the energies of the end of last week, what we're coming into now, and most importantly, what lies ahead of us towards the end of this week. And it's a good reading, so get ready for some good news. Okay, the first card is the last card of the previous week's reading. This card, the Seven of Cups, was not particularly good news. Attributed to Venus and Scorpio, it tends to represent the possibility of being depressed, the possibility of feeling overwhelmed, of feeling drained, of having just all this energy pouring out of us. It, it comes from excess of anything. Anything that drains us will tend to kind of fall under the coverage of the Seven of Cups. But that's a temporary state and uh, I didn't experience too much of it myself. Maybe a bit physically because I've been staying very busy, doing a lot of photography. Make sure you check out my website, my new one, modernzenphotos.com. Mm, got some pretty cool stuff up on there. And if you're on Facebook, you've probably seen some of my work already. But there's some good things coming up for us. We're past that energy of the Seven of Cups, and we got some good things coming up for this next week. Okay, the next card, the card of the present, is the Aeon. Now, this is great. This is fire called Judgment. In the Rider Waite Tarot, it represents our ability to burn away the past, to let go of things that fetter us, that limit us, that prevent us from being all that we can be. Fire is like a bonfire. We toss stuff in there, attitudes, things we don't need, people we don't need, for that matter, situations. Just let them go, hurl them into the bonfire, and just let them blaze away. And what this does is this frees, liberates us, and enables us to continue forward unfettered. This is especially fitting because this coming Wednesday, okay, 4th of April, we're going to have Mercury going direct. That's right. We're coming out of Mercury retrograde Wednesday morning about 6, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mercury will go direct, and that's always good news. It's going to open up even more possibilities for us. Uh, less computer glitches, less memory problems, less communication issues, less electronic issues. All that stuff is going to be behind us and we move forward into some wonderful, new, and exciting things. So the third card is the Three of Discs. That's what we're coming into at the end of the week. Mars and Capricorn. Hard work, persistence, endurance, energy and getting things done. Entitled Works, the card represents our ability to work, our ability to manifest. It's very, very powerful. So definitely you're going to find yourself feeling productive towards the end of this next week. You'll probably find yourself manifesting some things, things that maybe you had to hold off during the retrograde. Those are going to start happening for you. Yes, they will. So these are all very, very good things and they're all coming about in the very, very near future. Okay, friends, I love you. I thank you for watching the blog that truly blazes. It has blazed. It will blaze again. And in the meantime, till it does blaze again, many, many blessings. <laughs>